Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Pisces for the week starting September 5th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. It would be very appreciative. I have an announcement to make this month. I am expanding my channel this month of September. And so make sure you're subscribed to get a notification. If you love astrology, I will be discussing more about astrology and tarot as well. And I have also posted below the video where you could find me on social media. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing my, um, my video with everybody. Thank you for your messages. I receive a lot of messages, especially from you, Pisces. Thank you so much. Thank you also for your comments. Truly appreciated. And now let's see what we have for you this week, my Pisces. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the Emperor. Looking forward. Very strong card. Okay. I mean, what we know so far is that there was a new moon in Virgo in your seven house. Seven house is house of other people, business, relationship. Okay, it's a house that is opposing you. And somehow it gives you a certain amount of edge. Okay, I think you're in a position where you're able to lead either by guidance, by giving guidance to other people, either by just, you know, um, you know, being who you are. You could have some, you know, maybe last week you had some authority or maybe leadership skill that was required from you um, to give to other people. And I say other people because, like I said, there's a lot of energy in your seventh house, okay? The sun is in seventh house, it's in Virgo, we have a new moon in Virgo, and Mercury is currently going retrograde also in its own house, okay? But here I find that in the midst of all of that, for some reason, probably because it's, you know, Neptune is, is your ruler, because it's opposing Neptune, it's just giving you some type of edge, okay? Because Mercury is not going really, it's, it's still opposing you because it's, it's in Virgo, but because it's in retrograde, it's allowing you more expensive thoughts or expensive possibility or some type of expansion. Okay? And that, that could come with some authority. Maybe now people are looking for you or people want to know what you're doing or you're getting more attention than usual. But it could be also, like I said, that you need it. you're you needed to counsel other people, to guide other people as well. And let's see what we have in a present position for you, my Pisces. The Three of Cups. Yes, for sure. I mean, even if Virgo is, is, is opposing you, it's still your seventh house. So there's a lot of couple that I know, Virgo, Pisces, especially this is a very mystical. I find myself in all the opposition. I think the Virgo, Pisces one is very special. The 6th and 12th house is a very special energy. Um, so with that, you do have a lot of friends that are Virgos. There's a lot of celebration going on around you. You may be invited to celebrate. I mean, a new moon in the 7th house is great because then all attention is on you. All eyes are on you. People want to spend time with you. People are looking to hear from you. They, you know, so, or it could be also now, you know, business people becomes friends or, you know, you're, you know, again, expanding your network. You're, you're expanding your circle because the seventh house, like I said, is the house where there's everybody in front of you. And because the sun is there, the sun is looking at you. Okay. So celebration, it could be weddings. Uh, it could be birthdays, it could be uh, engagement, anything, okay? You'll be very busy uh, this week, my Pisces. And let's see what we have in the outcome position this week. We have the Ten of Cups. I mean, oh, let me see, look at this. I mean, it could be also that there's, you know, for some, some of my Pisces, men and women, it could be that there's a man looking, coming for you, okay? And it could be someone of, of an importance, okay? Um, someone who has an interest in you. That person could be, could be in your circle. It could be at work, you know? It could be uh, a business partner, okay? 
The Ten of Cups is the bliss card. Okay, Total bliss in all areas of life. Yes, of course, mostly in your relationship. But with that, it brings you a, a brand new um, in energy in all areas of life. Because Pisces, when they're happy, everything else is good. Their health is good. You know, their relationship is good. Their business, business is good. Money is good. When they have this... this um, happiness in their heart everything seems to connect all they need is really you know you guys Pisces really have to focus on being happy when you are happy this is where things are just you know this is when the universe give you the more you're grateful the more will be giving to you and I think my Pisces are the most grateful people unconditional love for other people certainly bring you a lot of uh, a lot of gift from the universe so having a ten of cups it could be that some of you I mean, some of my Pisces could be getting married or could be getting engaged. I mean, if there is, a, you know, someone that you're interested in, it could be someone who has the the meat to give you the security that you seek. Pisces need security. That security could be m emotional security, okay? could be financial as well. It could be physical, okay? But there's something that you're getting from, from people. People want to give you something. And it's something that you want, it's something that you have been asking for a while, okay? And like I said, for those that are single, it could be that love is really close to you. Oh, it's closer now, certainly, okay? And for those that are in a relationship, I think there's a great energy coming from, from your network, whether it's your family, your friends, your colleagues. You're in a good place right now, okay? So I'm very happy to see that. You know, even though people say Mercury retrograde, yes, of course, it affects people differently. But for some of my Pisces, I feel that for some reason, with the new moon, it's giving you some a shield. It's protecting you. It's allowing you to uh, to to receive something, and, and instead of just you know giving away. Okay, you're the you're the one on the receiving end, and it's a positive energy. I'm gonna end this reading here for you, my Pisces. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments until next week. Send you lots of kisses. I love you.